Hey guys, Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, I'm going to do an abbreviated uh, garden tour today, not showing everything. We've had a big rain the last couple of nights. Uh, I had gone about a week and a half without rain and my mulch uh, that I have down, I have down hay or, or straw uh, and it has been working great. Uh, I went for about a week and a half or so without any rain and it did not really do any damage to my garden whatsoever. It wasn't even wilting. So the mulch is working out great. Uh, and then of course, when I got the rain, stuff just kind of took off. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do that. Also wanted to do a channel update. If you're a new subscriber, uh, you know, I started off with, with uh, before I retired uh, and I was doing, you know, blogs about education and about my retirement uh, experience and going through that till I retired. Uh, some of those videos are pretty funny. If you haven't watched those, please go back and watch some of those. Uh, you'll get a kick out of a lot of them. Um, but anyway, uh, if you're a new subscriber, go back and watch some of my older stuff. Uh, I try to do stuff that's amusing. I like to have a good time with it, and I'm really enjoying doing this. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. Uh, you get paid on YouTube for advertising, uh, but you can't qualify to have advertisements on your videos until you get a thousand subscribers and you have to get a certain amount of view time. And I'm not worried about the view time, um, but if you have not subscribed, that's why we want subscribers, is so that we can qualify to get paid for the, um, for the advertisement. So that's why people make a big deal out of that, not just to, you know, th there's a reason why they say that. So if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, again, thank you guys that watch me. Uh, I have a real good time doing this. Um, you know, I'd probably do it anyway, just cause it's fun and uh you know but it doesn't hurt no that you could potentially get paid for it and it's not much but you know i am retired <laughs> and you know i've talked about saving money and stuff like that so for those of you that uh don't you know understand how subscribing works all that happens is you have to have a gmail account uh or a gmail which most people have if you do anything on the internet you have a gmail uh and then you just hit subscribe and nothing's going to happen other than you have subscribed to me. So you haven't committed to anything. I'm not gonna call you up. I'm not gonna come by your house. Um, I just know a lot of people think, why do they Why do they always say that? Uh, but that, that's why they always say it. It's, it's because they wanna get the thousand subscribers. So, um, you know, and I do too. I wanna get a thousand, I want a million. I want a million subscribers. Okay, so I'm gonna do a contest. The first person that is my millionth subscriber. No, I don't. I'm not gonna do a contest. Of course, I'll be getting some more uh, Pensacola videos uh, pretty soon. Of course, we go back and forth uh, from here to there with our trailer down there. So I'll be getting some more of those. I'd like to get some more fishing videos on here for uh, for you guys. Oh, I forgot to uh, mention while I was doing my video, um, trolls. I'm gonna address trolls. Um, I really haven't had any trolls. I did have one troll. I had, uh, well, a couple. I've had a couple on my videos that I did about paddling when I was an administrator. Um, but other than that, that's the only two trolls I've had. And I think it may have been the same person twice with a different name. So uh, if you're a troll, uh, here I am. I'm here. Uh, I'm ready to be trolled. Um, my wife gets trolled all the time. All, I mean, constantly. She's always got people saying stuff to her. Uh, you know, so that's kind of probably what I live for. I mean, that kind of thing's right up my alley. So, uh, troll me. Happy trolling. Right, now that we have started uh, trimming up our herbs, I have seen a marked difference in how much they are thriving. Uh, that is the new cilantro that we have bought. And I am being careful to make sure that I'm trimming these things and clipping these things every chance that I feel like it needs to happen uh, weekly anyway. And we're trying to root a Christmas cactus here. Tomatoes continuing to do well. Not getting really big tomatoes, but getting a good number, uh, plenty for us here at our house. So they're doing well. And um, I had uh, got one of the uh, suckers off one of mine. I saw a guy do this on, uh, on YouTube. Actually, it was Millennial Gardener. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try that. So I got one of the suckers off 
and I uh, rooted it in water and there it is. And my regular garden, the bell peppers really coming along. I got some nice big bell peppers still coming in. This is the best year I have had for, uh, for bell peppers. Uh, my squash, I followed uh, some of the advice from some of you guys and started spraying on some baking soda and stuff. Plus we had about a week and a half of dry weather. Um, and I have got some more squash that have come along, but still having some issues with these leaves now that it's rained uh, the last two days. I'm sure this is gonna start back. So I may be toward the end of the productiveness of my squash and not get what I thought I would get out of it. But I think if I get, um, you know, two or three more sets of squash out of that, I should be good. My okra, since it has rained, it's really taken off and I've been getting a good bit of okra so we're gonna have a uh, all vegetable meal here tonight um, and I'm still waiting now my um, now thanks to this rain my cantaloupe has made a comeback and it seems like it is starting to climb again but also thanks to the rain you got all that rot and stuff on the leaves now, the only other thing I wanted to highlight is my up front bed. And I want you guys to look at this. When I started doing my garden updates, the only thing, I will show you the two things that were in this bed. Well, I'll take that back, three. The mums were in the bed. The purple heart was in the bed. And this plant over here, which blooms in early spring, was in the bed. Everything else I have put in there um, and it has gone just bonkers. There's um, the vinca that I put in and it is really spreading. That's the second little round of it. Of course, the lantana is doing great. This lantana is coming along. And it's getting, you know, it's fighting for survival here with these other plants, the sweet potato vine and then these wildflowers. These wildflowers, of course, you know how wildflowers are. You know, they got all kind of, look at that. So my wildflowers are showing out right now. 